Now, I'll never sit there and pretend to profess my utter fandom for Adam Cole. Not really my flavor of wrestler, not really my cup of tea. But certainly, while acknowledging that, can also acknowledge the fact that there's a fan base of people that like him. He absolutely has a place in any major wrestling company. We could debate maybe what level and like how much you push him and what type of expectations you would have for him, what you would do with them, etc. But a decent talent for sure. Let's not just label him as a vanilla midget because he's not quite that. Um, do I think he is all that he's made out to be by a lot of others? Absolutely not. But is he... Like, if you were asking me, would I take him or a Kyle O'Reilly or a Roderick Strong, I can't believe you'd even ask me the question. It would be Adam Cole 100 out of 100 times, baby. You know, just period. <laughs> and I got to say, like, I know I talked about this a few weeks back. This whole Adam Cole contract situation with WWE, what an absolute foobar. Just foobar. You think you have him under contract for several more years. Then you realize you don't. Then you realize his contract's about to expire. So you have to get him a short-term extension so that way you can bump him out to SummerSlam weekend. Like, what the hell's going on with WWE? How do you, how do you not track this stuff? How do you not have accounting for this stuff? What the hell does your HR department do? What the hell... Does your leadership in the company do? Like, who's running shit? Who's booking this crap, basically? Especially since you know that you've got somebody out in the marketplace like an AEW that would be a natural fit and a natural landing space for somebody like Adam Cole. Why would you even introduce the risk of potentially another, letting another guy that you've invested a lot of time and effort and energy and resources and some money into just to give him a larger platform or a platform to have practiced for the past few years just to go to AEW. That makes absolutely no goddamn sense. But yet, lo and behold, here we are. Apparently, it's true Adam Cole's contract has officially expired and he is a free agent. No longer under contract to WWE, no non-compete clause, all of that stuff. So, plenty of buzz and speculation about what his next steps are. And that's what I wanted to talk about here is what I could envision those next steps being for Adam Cole. You know, because a good thing for an Adam Cole or anybody else, like it is legitimately a good thing, is that there are options. Viable options. Some, certainly, much more viable than others. But there are options. It's not truly a one-company show. It's not, it's either WWE or you got to go to Japan and hope you make it. Like, there are other options. You can make some money on the independent scene. You could go work for Impact for whatever that's worth anymore. Certainly, the big notable thing you could do is go work for AEW. Um, so, that's good for talent. Frankly, it's good for the business. You know, and as, as time goes along, you know, hopefully we get to a place where there's a little bit of more of an indirect talent exchange between the two companies where people run their course in an AEW, then they go to WWE. People run their course in WWE and they go to AEW. It's actually a positive and beneficial thing for both companies, even if you think, well, that might drive up labor costs, etc., blah, blah, blah. The reality is, is that, you know, can't fucking miss you if you never go away. You stay in one place too long, the view doesn't change, it starts to get stale and dull no matter how beautiful the view might be. So you got to shake stuff up sometimes. But where is he going to go? What happens next for Adam Cole? There is certainly the possibility uh, that he's AEW bound. And makes a lot of sense. You know, his lady Britt Baker works for AEW. So you could sit there and say, well, that's the logical reason to go in and of itself. And it certainly could be. I don't know Adam Cole. I don't know what his personal motivations are. I don't know how he would handle like working in the same place as his lady like some folks are equipped to handle it and many are not and that can be a thing that ends up creating a toxic environment both in the personal relationship outside of work and actually at work itself like sometimes we look at that and say hey that's a great thing not always the case 
It's not always an ideal thing to shit where you eat, to use a phrase. And to sit there and mix work and pleasure, not everybody can handle that. Not everybody's equipped to handle that. Not everybody wants to handle that. Some people want the difference. Some people want the independence. They want to be separate. That makes sense too. But at least when you talk about an AEW, that's a company that could pay Adam Cole pretty handsomely. That's a company that can offer uh, two primetime cable television shows weekly to be able to give him a platform to apply his craft, apply his trade, to potentially make a name for himself, uh, you know, be a draw for that company, so to speak, and you know, sell merchandise, all of that stuff. Like a chance to go there and work for a, a big wrestling company, be able to work with some familiar faces, some new faces, be in front of a different yet similar type of audience. Like there's certainly appeal there, especially if you look at AEW and if they're allowing talents to go work at other places, which they currently are doing. You know, for somebody like an Adam Cole, you know, whereas the whole lot thing that you're seeing from a lot of these released WWE superstars, they try to equate it like breaking free from prison, just a really bad, stupid, and dumb analogy. But there is certainly something there that you could talk about artistic, creative, professional freedom to get out from the WWE umbrella, where they like to have total and complete control over everything. Now it's a little more empowering to go into this different situation where you can work at other places. Still some rules to follow, etc., but you get the point. So I can certainly imagine there's going to be an appeal there. Do I look at Impact as much of a player here? Absolutely not. Like especially if they're um, signing Braun Strowman, like as a reporter, they're only going to have but so much money to throw around. Like, yeah, I, I don't really see that happening. I would see him more likely to appear at an impact because he's with AEW and goes there as part of that whole deal. So I don't see that as viable. Japan certainly could be viable. Um, I think the challenge with Japan though right now, especially for maybe the American wrestlers, is you go over there and you travel with the way the world is with COVID even now, you don't know how much longer it's going to be like this. You don't know what you're going to be facing in a few months. Let's say you go over there and you test positive for COVID. You're stuck over there longer than you want to be. Now you're talking about you're an entire half a world away from your old lady. Not a fun environment for anybody to be in. You're talking about a situation where you go over there and you might get stuck. You, you know, just might be booked for a match and then you can't get over there because of a travel restriction or something along those lines. Like, yeah, on the one hand, you know, he could certainly go to a place like Japan and probably do all right for himself. But there's a lot of risk involved right now and it might be better to stay away from that for the time being. So I think you realistically look at it and you say there are two options. It's AEW and it's WWE. And in terms of WWE, you might say, well, they just let Daniel Bryan leave. They just let CM Punk end up with AEW without making him a formal contract offer. What makes you think that they would even offer one to Adam Cole at this point? You know what? You're right. You're absolutely right. They may have already made an offer and he refused it and that's why he's a free agent. They may have had talks, Adam Cole and Vince McMahon, and talked about some things, but an offer wasn't extended. You know, it could be any number of things. Certainly reasonable to think that they might not have offered him or they lowballed him and Adam Cole's like, no, you know what, I think I could get better or more elsewhere. And if that's the case, if AEW is going to give him more freedom, fewer dates, the same or more money, more power to him. I applaud him for doing that. Do what is best for you, F everybody else. Now, it is certainly true at this present time that WWE provides a much larger domestic and international distribution operation, merchandise operation. Like, these things matter, but AEW's building one of their own. It's not of WWE size, but it's not exactly something to sneeze at. Uh, certainly lacking it by comparison to WWE from an in international distribution of my merchandising uh, standpoint. But it's not bad. But then you look at it and you say for Adam Cole with WWE, that you spend all that time in NXT. You're only getting paid a set, certain amount there at NXT, which is certainly not going to match uh, what you would get paid on the main roster. You were part of a show that was doing less in viewership weekly than AEW, so you might argue at that point in terms of overall viewers and in that key demo, the Meltzer demo, um, that you don't have 
the platform that you would like to have, and that certainly is a valid argument. There's also the piece of like, hey, at some point in time with WWE, you really don't want to be a Ciampa and be a lifelong NXT guy because that's kind of lame and loser stuff. You think of an Adam Cole, he's a guy in his early 30s. You know, he probably wants to do more. He wants to be in a place where he has more expectations and more responsibilities and more potential for more earning power, as he should. Like, that should be the name of the game. That should be the goal. To do as well as you can and make as much money as you can. Like, if you're not in wrestling to do that, then what the hell are you in wrestling for? And I think he has to sincerely, significantly question whether or not his best opportunities at this stage of his career come with WWE. And the answer is, is I don't think so. Not WWE could surprise us all and be working us and end up giving him a contract and bringing him up to the main roster and, you know, thinking about ways that they could feature and push him prominently, at least initially. So that way, nine months or a year from now, after they've buried him, they can release him from the deal that has still has three and a half or four years left. So that way he can go to AEW as a somewhat damaged brand or commodity. No, Vince would never do that. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> We all know that's probably going to happen. And I think that needs to be a consideration for Adam Cole, too. You know, when you look at the NFL, or in, especially in the NFL, we see all the money involved in these contracts, but then there's the total value. But what's the real value? The actual guaranteed money is really the only thing you care about. And as a result, those contracts are worth an X amount, but they're certainly not worth everything that is written out on paper. With WWE, it could be the same thing. They can lock you into this four or five year contract like they did with the Good Brothers and then nine months or a year later decide they don't fucking want you and have, in the meanwhile, undercut your appeal, undercut your leverage, undercut a lot of things about you. I, that is definitely a Vince McMahon petty level thing to do. And, and I got to be honest at this point is like, is AEW perfect? No. Do I still have some concerns about them in the long term? Oh, absolutely. It's like I have concerns about WWE in the long term. But especially when you look at the type of talent that we're dealing with here, and I'm looking at an Adam Cole. They've done well by him at NXT, let's be clear. They have treated him well, they have featured him well, they have pushed him well, they have given him lots of opportunities. So he can't sit there and say that he's been treated like shit. He better not, because if he does, Adam Cole deserves to be taking the task for that, because that is bullshit. There are enough things to criticize WWE for. Let's not manufacture false or BS ones. But I can also understand, like, that's in a smaller bubble. That was in Triple H, Shawn Michaels' land. Going to the main roster, you now really enter the realm of McMahon, specifically Vince, and that is vastly different as a perspective and as an experience. Henceforth, you know, you got to look at it and say, just because I've been treated well before doesn't mean when I go up to the main roster I'm going to be treated any better or any differently than what so many other guys that have come up from NXT have been. That's got to weigh into the decision. Like... To me right now, the best option for him has to be AEW. It has to be. They can pay him similar money, perhaps even more money. The roster fits him better. The creative fits him better. The environment fits him better. The fan base fits him better compared to the main roster of a Raw or SmackDown. Like There are so many things that fit him better. Being able to be in the same company. like I could sit there and make an argument of saying... You know, it's not wise to combine yourself all under one source because then what happens if AEW goes away, fizzles away? You never know what can happen. Then both you and your lady are out of a damn job. That might not be the wisest thing to do. Whereas at least you could say, if one of you loses your job, you still have the other one drawing some type of income while you figure out the rest of it. There's certainly a strategy and a logic to play there. But outside of that, like... I think Adam Cole's got to be AEW bound. If WWE wanted him bad enough, they would have already made it happen. And we'd already be hearing reports about it. You know, could he appear Wednesday on Dynamite? Who knows? Could he appear su Sunday at All Out? Could. I think it would be dumb. <laughs> You've already got enough planned for that show. Don't kill it too much. Could it be for the next Wednesday's Dynamite? Could it be for a show down the road? Perhaps. Maybe Arthur Ashe Stadium in a couple of weeks. Right in the backyard of WWE in New York? Ooh, that could be intriguing. But right now, I just can't see that WWE wants him bad enough because if they did, they would have gotten something done. Their incompetence in the way they've handled this has to leave a sour taste, I would think, in Adam Cole's mouth. You know, he's got another situation out there. Probably the perfect time for him to go see what he can do with AEW because he knows what he's facing with WWE.